Hello and welcome to another Abacus example. I'm going to show you how to model a hinge inside a continuous beam. So, same old, same old. You create a part. I'm gonna call it beam one. Yeah, one thing for modeling a hinge without fiddling with Abacus's input file specifically is you have to create two beams. Well, well, two structures or two parts, one for each side of the hinge and then connect them um, when you use the, or well, get to the assembly step, but yeah, we'll get to that later on. So we're going to create the left side of the beam first, we're going to call it beam 1, keep the approximate size 10, um, let's say it's a two span beam, I'm not going to worry too much about lengths at this stage. So there's it's fine. Sorry, escape. So there's the left side of the beam. Still do the section assignments. So sign that thing. Okay, create our section beam beam. Create it. Call it beam section. Create a profile rectangular. Just call it profile. Uh, 0.3, 0.5. Good. Create a material. Call it steel. Angle elasticity, elastic. Young's modulus, Poison's ratio. Great. That works. Beam section is present. Assign beam orientation for beam elements. That's fine. That's also fine. Can also mesh our beam so long. So see the part point one two. Okay, that's fine. It's not too shabby. Let's mesh the part. Okay, there's our beam meshed. And that's the left side of the beam. Now we create another a second part. Call it beam two. 2D planner, same procedure as the previous one, and we draw it from 0, zero to there to there. Done. You can add dimensioning and such if you want later on. Now for beam 2, we must also do section assignments as with the previous one. Use the same section for both beams, and also orientation, also cool for both beams. Also mesh the second beam by seeding it. Okay, meshing it. Okay, and now we have two beams. Now we have to assemble it. You click, double click on instances. Select both parts because I want both my beam or well, parts of my structure to be included. Click OK. Then both beams are there. Now I just want to show you how the pin actually looks. I want to move the one out of the way so we use the translate option select the instances I want to move let's say that one the start point is that one let's pick yeah, well, let's pick the end node and let's just select the end point let's say 5 minus 0.5 and it's over there. So these are on the left side and the right side of my beams. And now I want to connect this node and that node with a pin. How you do that is you go double click on connector assignments and close that. Now this is the steps you do. Is first you need to create um, a wire feature so which is that button which prompts create wire feature then you need to press the plus um, button and click the two nodes which you want to connect say done it gives you this um, dialog again with the two nodes and create set of wires ok shows you the little wire that you just created the next step is you need to create a connector section which is that thing create a connector section 
we for just the normal hinge you can select basic and translational type is join and traditional type is rotation and this well, available swarm is rotation which you can also fix and constrained is the displacement which um, represents a normal hinge click continue and now behavior options you must specify something so you click the plus and elasticity a linear relationship let's say for example if you have a hinge with a certain um, friction or something you will select M3 because M3 is the moment in planar or 2D beams and if you get some sort of friction value you have to insert it in D66 over there let's say it's 12 or whatever but in our case we have a rigid connection and we must fix something so I'm gonna um, constrain UR rotation 1 because for 2D beam it's UR3 which is the standard degree of freedom so leaving that free prevents rotation from being transferred from the one to the other okay hopefully that makes sense so we leave UR3 unchecked the other two doesn't make a difference for a beam type structure so you can click OK and now the section is defined and we n must then create the connector section so the top one create connector assignment sorry we just created the section create the assignment now then select the wires is asked so you select the wire which you created and say done sections by default selected so you click OK and these are little pin connection only thing now is now I want to move my um, this bottom beam so the nodes go inside so I click I will click on assembly again and the translate option and I want to translate that instance select it select the start node select an end node boom there's my thing transferred OK, and all's well. Now the assembly is created. You can always add springs or whatnot you want where you want it. Next, create the load step. Load step, static general, it's fine. Boundary conditions, I want pins all around. So click BCs. In the initial step is my general boundary condition, displacement rotation. Boom. Select my all my nodes except the hinge by holding the shift key while clicking. So all the nodes are selected and done. It's only pins, so leave UR3 unchecked. These are pins, no rotation resistance. And well, FYI if you want need a rotation or sorry, if you need a prescribed displacement or rotation at a certain position you just insert the boundary condition with that value inserted but that cannot be in your initial step so to show that you create a boundary condition in your load step you can say displacement rotation select whatever node you like how I selected my node yes and you can click done then if you click the prescribe um, thing you can prescribe a certain displacement or rotation depending on what you, your needs are for the structure. Just to illustrate and then apply a line load, load one, line load, whole thing. Component two is minus 12 kilonewtons, great. So now I can create a job, everything seems to be fine. Job one, default, okay. Submit the job, hopefully there's no errors, o overwrite the files. It's running, shouldn't take too long. And job completed successfully, great, so you can monitor the results. Oh yeah. Also, before I show you the results, um, in my field output requests, I already added the beam forces oh, I did not so I, I want the sorry yeah, I want the beam nodal forces for beams so I click OK so I can get the shear forces and moments as well then resubmit my job override and just wait for the job to finish it's running should be done quite soon
completed so you can look at the results and I want the deformed shape or the contour shape okay so again to show these you go to contour options and click the show tick marks otherwise it goes away so I want the tick marks that shows us the displacement of the beam I am not interested in the Mises stress now I want the axial force which is naught here we just give the undeformed beam then it looks better There's no axial force in the beam shear, there you can see the shear and bending moments you see where the hinge is there's no moment transfer so my hinge worked so yeah that's how you insert a hinge using focus thank you very much for watching and happy modeling